Hey guys, today we are in Adelaide, which is the capital of South Australia. It's the fifth most populated city, and we're gonna show you around. Uh, we're supposed to get a little bit of weather today, so we might do this over a couple of days. We'll see, right, let's go. The city center is pretty neat. The entire perimeter of it is surrounded by a giant park, which we're walking through right now on our way to our first stop. It's called the Himeji Garden. It was a gift to the city of Adelaide from the sister city, Himeji, in Japan. So let's go check it out. <laughs> it's got the neon blue South Australia hard lime water. Check it out, it's like bright blue. <laughs> Small, worth a quick stop. Yeah. Something interesting. Sure is nice that there's like this little, you know, like back way we can walk, not on a busy street. Yeah. Adelaide's got a lot of these, which is neat. A lot of pedestrian friendly cycle friendly paths wool wool eco friendly well we made it to the rundle mall this is like the high-end shopping district in adelaide it looks like just a shopping mall anywhere else though there is some interesting architecture and stuff down here though pretty good, so we're going to go in the Adelaide Arcade. <laughs> Look, they gave him a little mask. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah. How much is it? $12,500. Hmm. Seems kind of cheap, honestly. I know, it's from... 1868 to 1912. Interesting. Where's all these homes? Two levels of history. The Adelaide Arcade History Tour. Let's go. There are a few notable sculptures. <laughs> this one's called the Malls Balls. <laughs> Malls Balls. <laughs> it's a pigeon. <laughs> and on its right foot is a band that has GPS coordinates. These are some popular picks. I don't know much about the statues, but they show up all over social media and they're like a top thing to see in Adelaide. We need to get a magnet. Do they have the ball sack slider here? They have the ball sack, bottle openers, and a Kanga paw. <clears throat> ah. Yep. Four dollars, please. Got our magnets. Now we're gonna stop by Hayes Chocolate. It was apparently founded in Adelaide and is really popular with the locals, so let's maybe go try it. Twelve fifty for a chocolate bar. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Can I get one of those caramel bars down there, please? Thank you. Thank you. Let's give it a try. We got this here, Hayes. It chocolate. was expensive. It was expensive. Five dollars and twenty cents for two pieces of chocolate. <laughs> Not very big ones either. No. So we got a caramel bar. Whoa. Is it hard? Mm. Ooh, that looks like my kind of caramel. I like it when it's chewy like that. 
I'm gonna be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> Better than like store bought candy. And I got a dark chocolate peppermint prop. Should I start with the head or the tail? <laughs> I don't know how you feeling. You put him out of his misery. Merciful. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. You like that one? Mm -hmm. That's really delicious. Well, at least you really like one of them. <laughs> very minty, very smooth chocolate. It's nice, I think they like that. <laughs> Caramel is like, I don't know, like a taffy almost. Like a hard taffy. I like it. It kind of reminds me of like a cease chocolate. Yeah. I would say it's like on par with like that kind of quality. The mint is like a, it's different. It almost tastes like it has like a, like a touch of eucalyptus in it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. So, review, what do you say? Review, it's expensive, but it's worth trying a couple pieces. <laughs> so glowing. Worth every penny? <laughs> Maybe. I would try it. <laughs> We're gonna go explore the railway station. You wanna point it out? That over there. <laughs> this is Hindley Street. If you're a fan of bars, strippers, and kebabs, this is the place. <laughs> uh, just down the street from the University of South Australia, I think it's so, kind of a little more lively. Hi! <laughs> it's tasteful because it's burlesque. It's got a very dated retro feel down here. Well, some of it anyway. Just made it to the River Torrens. Right in the background is the Adelaide Oval. If you're into sports or anything, that's the spot for you. <laughs> they do a lot of sporting events and concerts there. It looks like the Adelaide Oval is also right next to the Adelaide Convention Center. Conveniently right across that bridge. That's right. If you're into it, they have some riverboat cruises to kind of take you around and show off the river torrent. Hey, look. What? It's the University of Adelaide. Neat. Got a bunch of free museums. I'm excited to go to the museum. I like going to Natural Which History museum are we choosing for today's adventure? South Australia from Museum of South Australia. And why is that? Uh, why? Because I like going and seeing natural history museums and seeing plants and animals and, you know, fossils and stuff. I think that stuff's kind of neat. This museum has the largest Aboriginal artifact collection. In all of Australia. In all of Australia. And probably the world. And maybe the world. <laughs> mm. Hey, check these out. They think these are 10,000 years old. They found them in a peat bog in South Australia. Mm -hmm. Neat, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, 50,000 years old according to that sign. Wild.
That was a super cool museum. Totally suggest going. It's like as cool as the Louvre. They've got some Pacific Islander artifacts. And when I say some, they've got like an entire room full. And I personally haven't seen any of that anywhere. So it's just fascinating. And then just like two floors of Aboriginal uh, collections. artifacts. Yeah, just yeah. a crazy collection. Haven't seen any in Australia. It's the that. biggest in Australia. Yeah, the biggest in Australia. So totally check it out. It's, it's worth a visit and it's free, which is my favorite price. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Adelaide Zoo. We're not going inside, but we're here. If you want to go to the Adelaide Zoo yourself, it is 39 Australian dollars a person. That's about 30 US dollars right now. Uh, we're not going inside today, but we're going to walk around it because it's right by where we're going next. Let's go. There are some really cool bats outside right now. They are just going nuts. I don't know if you can hear them on these mics, but they're loud. Are in the botanic garden. This is a big old hall of trees. It's like a tunnel in here and it's surprising because if you look around these are all like pretty tropical trees. I'm <laughs> actually pretty surprised all this stuff grows here. It's like quite cold in Adelaide. What do you think this is? Like wisteria or something? No idea. It looks like it. Oh yeah. That must be so pretty in the spring. Yeah, it must be. There's a big greenhouse. I'm pretty excited. Always trying to get back to the tropics. <laughs> <laughs> It's a long neck turtle, snake neck. <laughs> Absolutely wants a snack. What? Absolutely wants a snack. That was our tour of Adelaide. There's one more spot that we did miss. That is the Adelaide Central Market. It's actually closed today, but we made an entire video dedicated to it. We have it coming up soon, and I will link to it as soon as we have it up top. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.